Carrots are easy to grow, but let's take a look at a few tips that might make it just a bit easier. We like to start by building raised beds and then making sure that the soil is fully amended with good, rich, aged compost. Work the compost down 8 to 10 inches in the soil and then you're ready to plant. We like to sow our carrot seeds in a shallow trench, as shown here. We like to plant our carrot seeds about one inch apart. Here you can see a fully planted bed that is lightly mulched. This mulch is not much more than about a half inch thick, and that's very important because the carrot seeds will germinate into very small delicate plants. Now let's see a few more tips on planting carrot seeds. The seeds of carrots are very small, as you can see here. So you want to keep them moist through their entire 14-day germination period. Here you can see some pelleted carrot seeds. They're coated in a clay-like base, which helps them germinate and also makes them easier to plant. You can use a shaker like this, which is just a spice shaker, to get them to come out one or two at a time. Makes it very easy to plant. Grass clippings can be used to help mulch around some of the small seeded plants like carrots. Now let's see where they're most useful. Once you've planted your seeds, now use the grass mulch that you've just raked up and cover them with about a half inch of this mulch. This will help the moisture and also will help when you water. You will make sure that you don't disperse the seeds and splash them all around. Here you can see carrots that were properly planted. The spacing was about one inch apart. If you planted your carrots too close, don't thin them out by pulling them. This could damage the roots of the carrots that you would like to leave in the ground. The preferred method is use a small scissors and thin them by cutting out the unwanted carrots. Let's be honest here, nobody really likes to thin, so plant them at the correct spacing from the beginning. Carrots come in many colors. Some carrots are long and slender, others are blocky, and some are short and round. The general rule is, if your soil is nice and loose, down about 8 to 10 inches, you can grow those long, slender types. If it's more clayey, then the short types might do better for you. Here are a few varieties of carrots that we've really enjoyed over the years. These two varieties, Yaya and Mokum, are very crisp and tender, and also very sweet. We're continuing to harvest from our carrot bed. This carrot is called Yaya, and it holds pretty good in the soil. Mokum carrots are very sweet. They're also crisp. This makes it very difficult for the large growers to grow them because when they're harvested, they break if they use mechanical harvesters. Look at that. But that's what makes a carrot really tasty. There's nothing sweeter than a mokum or a yaya -ya carrot. Children love picking carrots in the garden. Just wash them and they're ready to eat. 